Hello guys, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a 3D moving platform. First I'm going to create a new game object. I'm going to create a cube. This will represent our platform. I'm going to scale it out a bit. I'm going to line it up with our floors. I'm going to create another box collider. I'm going to check is trigger. I'm going to edit the collider. I'm going to raise it just above our platform object. This will be the trigger that the player needs to enter in order to parent with our platform. That way the player doesn't slip off the platform while it's moving. So now we're going to go into our scripts. Right click, create C sharp script. I already made the script, so I'm going to go over it with you guys. It's very simple. I name the script Moving Platform. So make sure your public class name matches your script file name. In my case, I called it Moving Platform. Here you'll be able to drag the player in the inspector. Once the player enters the trigger, it'll parent with our platform. Once it exits, it'll no longer parent with our platform. So I'll provide the script in the comments down below. So we're going to drag that script into our platform object. And inside the script, we're going to drag our player object. Obviously we'll have different player objects. The standard FPS controller will do as long as our player object has a rigid body attached to it. If it doesn't, our triggers won't work. So now we're going to make our platform move. So we're going to go into our animation tab. We're going to create a new animation. I'm going to call it platform. We're going to click recording. We're going to go to our one second mark. I'm going to drag our platform to our final destination. Then we're going to go to our first key. I'm going to press control C to copy. I'm going to go to our second mark. I'm going to press control V to paste. That way it makes a nice smooth looping animation. Click done recording. So this platform actually moves too quick for our player. So I'm going to go into our animator controller. Once we made that animation, should have automatically made an animated component. We're going to go into our animated controller. I'm going to turn down the speed. So now everything should be working. We're going to go test.